So what we are saying is that you don't need Ghana car before you become a Ghanaian. So if somebody like Otunfo Ose Tutu Abebio, his daughter does not have a Ghana card, but she's 18 years, and she wants to register. Then Otunfo comes, the Supreme Court says that Otunfo, who is the parent or the parents of that daughter, can guarantee for that daughter to be registered. Nanadu is saying that no, until that person has a Ghana card, she cannot register. Kola, how did we procure the Ghana card? Is it not by guarantor system? So how can the guarantor system that was adopted to procure Ghana card cannot be used to procure a voter's ID card? So if you look at it and the suspicion surrounding the acquisition of the Ghana card and the challenges even the Minister for Communication has encountered when she wanted to implement a similar process by saying any Ghanaian who does not have a Ghana card will not be allowed to use a mobile phone. Has she been successful in implementing it? So if it was an electoral activity, don't you think that there would have been chaos and disorder in the country? So why do you see chaos and put your head in it? You, you saw a financial crisis and put your head. Today we are there. You, all your activities is to lead to collapse or something. The NDC minority will go heaven and earth to protect the democratic integrity of Ghana, and we'll do that.